Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. In this video, we're going to be going over a tool in the Edit Mesh menu. So, under the Modeling menu set, Edit Mesh, and here we're going to look at the Transform command. Transform. So, the way this tool works is it's under the Component section of the Edit Mesh menu. So, this works for any component of a polygon mesh, which would be vertices, edges, or faces. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to create a polygon object. Let's go to Create, Polygon Primitives. We have several here we can choose from. I'll just choose a sphere, and I'll scale it up, and hide the grid with this button here. So here's my polygon sphere. And so the Edit Mesh Transform command works on components of a polygon object. So I'm going to right click and hold down, and I can choose Vertex, Edges, or faces. Those are the main three that we're looking at when it comes to editing polygons. There are other options here, but those are the main three. Faces, vertices, and edges. So I'm just going to grab some vertex or vertices, just like that. All my vertices highlight in this kind of pink or purple color, and I can select some. So with a selection of vertices, like so, I can go to Edit Mesh, Transform. And when I do so, I get this gizmo here, and you can see that currently it is aligned with the normal or the surface direction of the object. So the curvature of the sphere, this particular point, the alignment of this tool is perpendicular to the surface of the object. Okay, so when I pull, pull so when I click and pull on this blue Z axis handle, all those vertices start pulling outward, going outward in that surface direction. These points over here are going this way, these points over here are going this way. Like that. Let me undo that. You see this little blue dot that's kind of jutting off of the tool? If I left click it, it will change to a uh, world view or world mode as opposed to the original view, which is, this is the local axis, or local translate. If I click it, it goes to world translate. And with this selected, if I pull on any of these arrows, you can see they all move together, instead of along the axis, or along the surface direction. So you click on this little blue circle, switches between local and world. Back to local again, I can click on these arrows, and you can see how the points move perpendicular to their original position according to the surface direction of the sphere. Okay? That's the in general. Now this is a pretty neat feature of these later versions of Maya as of this recording. What I used to have to do to do the same kind of effect, if I were to right click and choose a vertex, what I used to have to do because the transform command was not available, I would have to double click on my move tool to get my tool settings. In my axis orientation, I could change this. Instead of it being object, I could change it to normal. And when I did that, I get this kind of gizmo, which is very similar to what we just had. And the in handle is the normal or surface direction handle. I can pull on this, and it gives a very similar result as the transform command. I can change this back to object and hit close. Another way of getting to that feature without having to double click on the move tool is by holding the W key, left click and hold, and this gives us our tool commands, and we have here axis, and then from here I can go to normal, and that gives me the same uh, functionality. Hold down, middle, hold down W again, left click and hold, and choose world or object to go back to a normal uh, move tool. However, now that we have Edit Mesh Transform, I don't have to do that anymore. I can simply go to this command, hit Edit Mesh Transform, and I have this tool, this gizmo, this handle, that I can use for the same effect. What's also beneficial of doing it this way is you have a history item over here that you can edit later on. Let's look at the options. We'll go to Edit Mesh, Transform, Options. There's only one option, and that's Randomness. So you can add some randomness to the movement, which is a nice feature to have. So if I were to increase this randomness, it goes from 0 all the way up to 1. 
let's say I put it around the middle somewhere, 0.5-ish or so, and hit transform, and then I start to move these, now you get a randomness associated with the movement of these points. So if you do want to have some irregularity in how these things move, with that transform command, you can do so, adding in a little bit of randomness. So by adding in just a little bit, I can start to get some sort of rocky features, edit mesh, transform. Now because the transform command can work on multiple components, vertices, edges, and faces, the options do kind of change based on what type of component you have selected. We've been dealing with vertices here so far. If I go back to Edit Mesh, Transform Options here and just open us up. So with the vertices that we've been selecting, we have the randomness slider. If I right click and choose Edges, however, you see now I have another option called Local Center. Let me grab an edge. And the local center is depending on where this gizmo is in relation to how the edge is shaped. So right now local center is middle. You can also choose start and end as another option. Let me do middle first and hit apply. And you see that my gizmo or my handle is right there in the middle of the edge. Let me do it again and choose start and apply. And now my handle is over here on the left side of the edge or where Maya sees this edge started at this point as its uh, opinion. And then end, as you can imagine, is the other end of the edge. So you can choose where the gizmo or the center, or where the where the local center of the gizmo is, middle, start, or end of an edge. If I choose faces, we don't get that. We only get the randomness slider once again. So that extra option comes in when you have edges selected, the local center pull down menu. So over here on the, in the channel box, under my inputs, I can left click any of these inputs and get back to the settings of that transform command that I used. You'll notice the gizmo is not available over here. We have to left click on the show manipulator tool, this button here, and then the gizmo comes back. So left clicking on any of these inputs or history items for these move vertex commands, you can go back to any of those transform commands I've done and make changes to them here or use the gizmo right here. Let's go into the attribute editor and you see here I have poly move vertex 4, poly move vertex 3. These are my uh, attributes of those commands I've done. Again you see here translate XYZ, rotate XYZ, scale and pivot, local translate, local direction, then here's that randomness slider again. We can adjust it here. And you can click here between world space or local space. That's what this button does. Okay, I think that pretty much uh, covers everything I can think of about the transform command. Again, it's under the edit mesh menu, transform. If you ever need anything to kind of push outward along the normal, this is a really nice handy tool to use and a little bit more uh, straightforward than the old method I was using before this tool existed. Anyway, this has been Michael for the Maya tool belt going over the transform command. Hope you enjoyed that and learned a little bit about how the transform command works. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to answer as soon as I can. Thanks a lot and I'll talk to you later.